welcome or welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we have a, as we celebrate being champions of England yet again, yeah, we've got the old Manchester Evening News special edition. We're going to have a look through this today. Of course, they usually bring out glossy ones, uh, paper type ones like this one. Um, in the old days, yeah, I mean, I've got one here from 1991, 92, over 30 years ago. It literally just redid the. Um, match reports that are taken from the paper so that's what we used to get and obviously this is a slight version of that I don't imagine they're going to bring out a game by game one out this is more a celebration rather than a, a basic match report but it's called the special edition celebrating City's fourth title in five years that'll upset some gentlemen down at Arsenal but we'll talk about that later on I always love a, a hard copy it's great to have stuff on the computer of course it is but it's great to have something you can Put your hands on and have a read and look through and keep keep as a memento as I did with that that one there. I've got lot I've got lots of those uh, those end of season things from Manchester News on and if you have as well, let me know. Let me know if you collected them as well and kept them reasonably good condition. They do get a bit yellowed and a bit musty smelling sometimes. But, uh, that that's how it is, isn't it? And our, our good ladies or other our partners uh, have a bit of a whinge about it sometimes, don't they? So there you go, please join me. I'll have a quick look through this and tell you what's in it. And please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications. And of course, you can give me a little like, anything like that. Be, make an old City fan look very, very happy. As always, these are just great memories to look back on. And obviously, with, with the, what I do, my history vlogs, etc. Uh, I'm always looking back at sort of publications and stuff like that and give you some great information, especially with the match reports as well. But as I said, this... This doesn't really do that. It has a couple in, but we'll talk about that anyway. A great coverage you can see there. There'll be images coming up on screen. Uh, a tribute, of course, to Fernandinho as well, which I'm sort of ploughing through at the moment. I'm doing my own little tribute, but uh, nine seasons takes a lot of uh, a lot of research. So, yeah, it's taken a bit longer than I'd hoped, but uh, it'll be worth it in the end. So we'll, hopefully I'll have that in the next couple of weeks or so for you. Uh, Stuart Brennan leads the piece, as you'd expect, the main guy for City, of course, in the evening news. And four out of five, yes, only seven other teams in history have matched that level of consistency of winning the, the big title here in the UK or here in England, should I say. Uh, Villa in the 1890s, yeah, they've got a bit of a history. Arsenal in the 1930s, uh, a bit more on that later. Liverpool, 70s, 80s, and of course, uh, that lot of down the road, um, well, down well, from here where I am, about four miles away. Uh, United in the 1990s and the 2000s, of course. We'll come back to this a little bit later on with another piece that Stuart Brennan's done. He reflects in general on the season, yeah, about four pages. He reflects on the mixed start we made, the poor start we made, really, if you think of the, of the Tottenham game, summary of the ups and downs. And, yeah, a, a season where when it kicked off, even United were expect, expected to make a bid for the title, weren't they? Along with Chelsea, Liverpool and ourselves. I think they were the, the four big guys, weren't they? And I think it was even a table published, wasn't there, without City in it. I think we sat fifth and obviously they, they published the top four and said it's going to be a proper... A, a proper tight, you know, a proper chase this year. It's going to be a, cr a proper battle for the title. But uh, we all know that. We all know that. At the end of the day, it was just our old adversary or a new adversary, if you like, in recent years, Liverpool and us that would, of course, slug it out to to get the title. Simon Bukowski reflects on Pep. Yeah, an interesting piece. He says, Barca is in his heart, but Pep without doubt now a true blue. Yeah, well, I've still got, still got limitations to that. He's had his moments, but yeah, I, th I think I have to agree with Simon. More than ever this thing, I think more than ever this season, I think we've seen Pep realising what it's like to be a City fan and what what, it, what we have to put up with, etc. And he's getting a lot of stick for it, but he's, I'm sure he'll stand by his guns. But uh, I think this season, more than ever, he's realising just what it means to be a City fan. Uh, we've been there for a long time, guys, haven't we? But uh, it's nice to see Pep coming over to our side, finally. As I said, there's the odd moment where he may say or do something uh, untoward against us, if you like, but uh, certainly not this season. I, th I think he's realised now what being... Uh, all being a City fan is all about. Taking, of course, Simon talks about the press conferences where he's got a bit more texture as time's gone on, of course, with the things about Liverpool and the bias, etc. And, uh, yeah, I just think that Simon's quite right. So it's a good article, good piece on Pep and what it means to be a City fan. 
Uh, so that probably means Pep's going next season, doesn't it? <laughs> now, now he's sticking up for us. That probably means he's on his way out of the door. And then an interesting one. Yeah, you know, I did my player ratings, my own for the season and the, and the Manchester Evening News, some interesting figures. But they've done a separate one here. They've not done it all statistically like me and took an average of the scores throughout the season. Obviously, it's someone's judgment. There's no name to it. So it could be Brennan, it could be Bukowski, it could be Alex Brotherton. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, these the ratings, obviously, they give a little paragraph on each player as well. But interesting. But I think I think they've got a bit of rose-tinted glasses with this. And I think the bit of champagne after winning the league because they're very high scores, which it's fair enough. But I'm sorry, I, I don't think some of these scores are quite right. You need to take a look back at some of the individual game ratings that they put together over the season, I think. But hey, hey let, let's enjoy it while we can. Edison got a seven. Stefan got a five. That's a bit mean, but I'm not going to disagree with it. Walker got an eight. Stones got an eight. Diaz got an eight. And Laporte got an eight. Uh, Aki only got a seven. I thought Aki was tremendous when he came in. Cancelo got an eight. Sinchenko got an eight. Rodri got a nine. Yeah, OK. Early doors. Yep, yeah, but uh, not so much. Later on, Werner got a seven. The seven is last season. I can understand that being a bit cruel, but if you're on a high after winning the league, perhaps you should have been kinder. Gundogan got an eight. Sil, uh, Bernardo got a nine. McAtee got a six. Mares got a nine. Mares a nine. Uh, Jesus an eight. Palmer a seven. Torres seven. I wouldn't have even put him in it. Foden nine. Grealish seven. A bit unfair compared to the others. Sterling eight. Really, and uh, of course, KDB was was a nine. He was kept separate, but uh, yeah, I think they could have perhaps gone uh, check checks on the game by game ratings, guys. I think they've gone a bit over the top with that, eh? But it's it's only a bit of fun. It's only conjecture. It's only it's only perhaps what they thought in the moment and the afterglow of a of a wonderful champion uh, ch- being champions again, of course. And then rather than game by game, as I said, that's what the magazines used to be. Uh, it literally takes four so-called key games, double page spread on each, uh, and reprints uh, as they appeared in the Manchester Evening News originally. So they, they picked Chelsea nil, City 1, which is fair enough. City 4, United 1, well, we enjoyed that. City 2, Liverpool 2, and City 3, Villa 2. And that's it. That's, that's, that's all the reprints we get from the matches. So a bit mean. So not the greatest sample either. I think they should, could have found, uh, you know, one or two even more important games than that. But hey. That's what we did. Alex Brotherton, yeah, he reflects on 93-20 and this and tries to compare the two and how great it was for younger fans, of course, to, to see this who perhaps missed out on the original 93-20. We get some great on-pitch images, some some old and new, of course, if you if you get the Manchester Evening News or uh, watch on look on, on the internet, etc. Dino deserves to be held as a city great, says uh, Alex Brotherton, who quotes that. He also pens Top Gun 2, yeah, a piece on our last day hero, of course, Gundogan, who certainly went up in a lot of City fans' estimations if he wasn't up there anyway for that last game. And a piece of the importance of Jesus, who sadly might be leaving us, but, you know, Alex Brotherton uh, does a little piece on Jesus as well and how important he was to us this season, quite rightly. Grealish opens up uh, to Joe Bray. Yeah, Joe Bray about the season being harder than he thought and a bit nervous when he's in Pep's company. (laughs) I think we all would be as a footballer. Stones tells Andy Hampson that winning the title gets better and better every time. It certainly does, mate, that's for sure. Alex Brotherton talks about uh, twenty just turned twenty two. I'm telling his birthday to the yeah a couple of days ago yesterday or a couple of days ago as I'm recording this. Of course, our twenty two year old now he's getting on a bit now, isn't he? He's getting a bit old. Uh, Phil Foden, living the dream of every young City fan. Of course, he is. He also pens a piece with Zinchenko, of course, dedicating this win to the people of Ukraine. A couple of pages of images from the parade again. Some we've seen, some we've perhaps a new we can't stand still of course can can we as a club we've won this we've done it and it's on to next season of course Stuart Brennan looks forward to City with some bloke called um, I think you pronounce it Holland I think yeah, I don't know I don't know who he is I've never heard of him but uh, yeah Stuart, Bre- Stuart Brennan looks forward to what he may bring to the team and the changes uh, for next season and a follow-up to the early piece, I did mention about the four times in five years, isn't it? Follow, the follow-up to the early piece from Stuart Brennan announces that City have taken their rightful place at the head of the game's dynasties. Big words. In winning four titles in five years. So he also talks about Aston Villa, 
1895 to 1900. Arsenal, yeah, Mr. Davis, Arsenal, 1930 to 1935. Perhaps uh, Alan Alan Sp Bubble Davis was right though. He, he must he was right about it being a di dynasty, but he must have had a good memory to think back to 1930-35, wasn't he? But perhaps his, perhaps his granddad told him. Uh, Liverpool between 75 and 80. Liverpool between 81 and 86. United 92 to 97. And then they cheat a bit because there's a crossover. United 95 to 2001. So that is pretty impressive, isn't it? But we know that. We know from the 90s what United were doing. Uh, United 2006 to 2011. And of course, us now, City, joining the dynasties. Shh, tell Alan, don't tell Alan Davis. Joining the dynasty, the football dynasties in 2017 to 2022. And the back cover, well, yeah, a fitting a fitting tribute, of course, again to Ferner with the trophy uh, in a guard of honour, a great image. So, yeah, I, I, it's good this. I say I, I, miss, I miss me match reports. I mean, I do collect the evening. You know, that's for me, for me research. Uh, I think I might have missed a couple over the season, but I do, I do try and collect all the MEN match report so I do have them but it's nice to have them in one big it's nice to have them in one big paper like this, this one obviously from 91 92 isn't it it's nice to have them uh, in there so there you go and you've got a list of all the fans that we is your name on there city fanatics all the fans are uh, did I put did I, did I put that was I on this one I don't even know if I was on this one let me have a look I sometimes got conned into Yes, Le no, Leanne and Mark Deneen, there you go. <laughs> Leanne and Mark, my, my daughter and my, my son, uh, the baby was uh, 1992, a little bit too young to go on it and whatever. So there you go. I was, I was on that page, guys. <laughs> All my kids were on the page, or two of my kids were on the page anyway. So Leanne and Mark Deneen. So if you've still got that, have a look through, check check for your name. I thought, I, we used to get do it do these things didn't we like the like the placards on for the tunnel and stuff like that i mean i didn't fall for that blue moon thing that circle thing though obviously on on the lead up to to the etihad i didn't fall for that i thought that i'd get mistreated and ill kept so i didn't bother with anything like that did you anyway so anyway a great tribute i say great memory uh, as it is it's always it's always a good thing to look back on and collect and keep and obviously it would be normal paper you have to keep it uh, uh, nice, don't you? you? Have to try and keep it nice anyway. So sometimes not when you have, when you move house and do various things, it's not as easy sometimes, is it? But a great memento, I have a great hard copy. So if you if you're in Manchester area or you can get a copy, please uh, get out there and get one. It's just just a great to have something. As I say, a hard copy of the season. There's loads of stuff on the internet. There's loads of stuff, uh, YouTube, everything. Of course, there is. But it's not. I just, I just love hard copies. You know, with my match programs and all stuff like that. But our thanks, our thanks. Then go out to the M U E N. We call them, don't we? But occasionally they do something right, don't they? So there you go. Well, well done, M U E N. Uh, excellent. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please. Till we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe. You and your family stay safe, Blues. Come on, city. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.